your tongue who I love thee. Let me count the way. I love New York. You know why? Because it's open all night. Uh, so New York looks like it sucks, right? <laughs> Here's the headline. Customers attack workers, destroy store over $1 sauce in chaotic clip. Well, it was actually $1.75. Not that that really makes any difference or makes it any less insane. Let's watch the clip. So it looks like somebody's trying to use their better judgment there, but uh, obviously that's not going to prevail. So these uh, women, oh, sorry, sorry, it's New York. Uh, I should call them uh, birthing people. Although I'm not a biologist, so I mean, how the hell can I possibly know what they are? But anyway, they're losing it. And this is over a dollar and 75 cents for some sauce. Oh, here's the twerking. That's I, I would say that twerking is the worst invention in the history of humanity. Nothing good has ever come from twerking. You can see the people in the background, they're laughing. They think it's hilarious. This one's too fat to get over properly. Yeah, just keep throwing stuff. That's going to help. Smash. Very good. Very good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Throw more things. So she's trying to throw things actually at the staff member who's recording this on their phone. Tear that down, then you can really throw things at them good. Just total and utter spontaneous bedlam. Madness. I don't know, is this just a norm is this just a normal night out in New York City? I mean, thank goodness they got rid of prayer in schools. That's all I can say. But apparently uh, three women were arrested after the attack at Bell Fry's in the early hours of Sunday morning. So this was after a night of partying. But I imagine that nothing will actually happen to them because from what I understand in New York, uh, the criminals are victims and the victims are criminals. Don't believe me? How about this? Uh, there's a New York City bodega worker who's been charged with murder after defending himself against a guy who stormed behind the counter and attacked him. Jose Alba, a 51, was manning the counter at Hamilton Heights Grocery on Broadway when Austin Simon, a 35-year-old career criminal and ex-con, stormed behind the counter and shoved him into a wall. Simon then grabs Alba as the frightened clerk tries to get past him. Alba then grabs a knife and plunges it into Simon at least five times. Simon's girlfriend then pulls a knife from her purse and stabs Alba three times in the shoulder. So if you're wondering why the people in that restaurant didn't defend themselves, well, you better not. Not if you're in New York City. I mean, the sad thing about it, too, is that in the background, the people are just laughing. It's a cultural problem. This is what you get in ultra left wing places. In places where laws aren't really enforced, you get lawlessness. I mean, that should be obvious, shouldn't it? But anyway, just wrecking the place wasn't enough. Uh, they removed $10 of cash from the register. And their attacks injured a 33-year-old female worker and a male worker who both suffered lacerations to their heads. So there you go. Latest news from the city that never sleeps, although uh, maybe it should. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. That makes a big difference. I really notice when people share my content. Thank you for that. I will see you next time.